friends, welcome to the course of Coding Writer for RESTful API development using SILT authentication. Inside this video, we'll do the unit testing of Add Student API. If I back to editor, inside last video, we had completed all the development method process of Add Student API. Go back to App Folder, Controllers, API, API Controller. So this is our Add Student method what we had completed inside last video. Now in this video, we'll do a unit testing so that we are checking that it is working or not. So here I have opened Postman tool so that we can test this Add Student API method. Let's start development server. So PHP Spark Server development server started. This is our project URL. So I will copy this URL, copy link, go here, paste into this URL bar, select post request type, go inside body, select form data. Now next we need to complete this URL because this is only project URL. So I need to go inside our routes.php, go inside config, routes.php. So to call add student API, first we need to pass API as a prefix here. So forward slash API and then we need to call add hyphen student. So once we hit this URL, it will call add student means add student method of API controller. And by the help of that, we are able to test that method what we have implemented. So while creating our student data, we need to pass the two required fields called name and email. But optionally, we can pass the value of phone as well as profile image. So here inside this unit testing, we'll see both two conditions, either we have image or we don't have any image. Let's go back to postman. So inside form data, we need to pass name. Let's say that I am creating first string. So name, email. Next we'll have called phone number, phone. I am passing some dummy value. Next we have profile image. So as we know that inside this variable, we need to upload an image. So instead of passing text value here, I will select file. And from this choose file button, I will select a file from my system. So here we have uploaded an image for this student. Let's click on send button. And as you can see that student saved successfully. If I go inside our database, click on structure, go inside this table. And as you can see that the first row now created by using our postman tool. And I think that here we have some mistake that is image has been uploaded inside images folder. But this is the image name dot means dot is missing from name and extension. So I think this is our mistake. Go here inside this else block where we are uploading our image file. Go inside here. This is the new name what we are generating and put a dot here. So this is all about the name and extension. And one more thing, if we go inside our public folder, as we can see that automatically this images directory also created by this move method. But here we had mistake. So inside this images folder, instead of creating this image file, now it has created a folder structure. If I go here, let's go to public directory, images folder. And instead of creating an image, it has created a folder. But now we have fixed that by passing a dot here inside this double quotes. Again go here inside our postman tool. Let's pass another student data. Let's choose another file. I will click on the send button. Student saved successfully. Go here. Let's reload this table structure. And as we can see that this time we are getting our second row and the image profile path is also ok. Go to folder structure and here inside image. And I think that instead of creating image, again it is creating a directory. Back to code here. 
So this is our move method. This is our die tree where we want to store images. And here we have the mistake that this is the new name. So I need to cut here, remove this forward slash, put a comma here and this is the name. It means inside this move method, the first value we need to pass the folder where we want to store our images and the second value is the new added image. All we have done, this was our mistake. Go here, let's create another data. I will upload the same image, click on send button, student saved successfully, go to table, reload that structure. We have now a new entry. If you go inside of folder structure, now this time as you can see that instead of creating folder, it has generated an image. So successfully, when we will upload our data called name, email, phone and profile image, it, will, it is working perfect. Now in the next case, let's say that we will not pass any image value. So in that case, what happens? If I go here, let's remove and create a new data. In this case, we are not passing our profile image. So as simple as that, I need to untick that. We are passing only these three values. Click on send button. Student saved successfully because this is an optional field. Go here inside our table, click on reload. Now as you can see that we are getting our name, email and phone value and this profile image contains a null value. Now once we don't pass any value called name, email and phone, let's click on send button. Now as you can see that the name field is required and the email field is also required. Let's pass the name value. We are not passing the email value but this email field is also required. Click on send button. We can see the email field is required. Now if I will pass the name and email value, make sure that email value should contain a unique email address but this email is already registered here. If I go and again try to create with the same email, we can see the email field must contain a unique value. So successfully, by the help of this video, now we have done our unit testing of add to an API method and successfully, we have fixed some issues what we have inside this method. Now finally, by the help of this method, now we are able to create and save a student inside our student's table. Now in our coming videos, we will see our more methods. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.